Some people might not like this week's book, as the plot is far from being action-packed, and the pace is leisurely. But I like going at a walking pace. 100 Books You Must Read, number 71, Barchester Towers, by Anthony Trollope. Septimus Harding is a worthy clergyman who most people expect to be appointed as the new bishop. He is not. But the wife of the man who is, Mrs. Proudy, proceeds to turn cherished customs of the town upside down. Mr. Harding's officious son-in-law, Dr. Grantly, takes up arms for him, figuratively, not literally, as he is also a clergyman. Mr. Harding's widowed daughter, Eleanor, is sought after by three suitors and ends up with the right one at the end. And there's the plot, or the lack of it. One thing I love about Trollope are his character names. Many are illustrative of the character's characteristics. There's Mrs. Bold, whose husband was very bold. There's Mrs. Proudy, who is definitely proud. And there's Mr. Quiverful, who has many, many children. Then there are such minor characters as Sir Lambda Mew Mew and Sir Omicron Pie. One wonders if Trollope had trouble thinking up names and just decided to work his way through the Greek alphabet. This novel is one of six novels Trollope wrote called the Barsetshire Novels because they are set in the fictional county of Barset that he created. People have even mapped out this fictional county. And now, just a little poetry to brighten your day. By Oshima Ryota. And then. Bad-tempered I got back. Then in the garden. The willow tree.